While the servo amplifier and servo motor are the devices at the heart of the motion control system, let's move our discussion upstream to the controller where all the commands originate. The topic of controller programming is beyond the basics, but we can cover some fundamentals like distance and position. The program may require the servo mechanism to travel a certain distance relative to its current location. This is called a relative move, and this approach is helpful when programming a move that needs to repeat itself several times. On the other hand, the program may have a preset table of positions to which the machine is to move. In this case, an absolute positioning move to a certain position can make programming the controller a lot easier. Now here's an example. If you order me to take three steps forward, well that's a distance command, a relative move. If you tell me to go to the table, that's a position command, an absolute move. It's the same result, I'm at the table, but the type of command is different. Modern industrial motion controllers allow the programmer the option to define the move either relatively or absolutely, whichever makes the most sense for that particular part of the control program. For this reason, we really can't tell which method was used by simply looking at the machine in motion.